In today's Madden 21 tip, I want to break down a nice, unique little man-beating route from the run-heavy playbook that you could that you can utilize in your playbook to be able to beat man-to-man. -man. It comes from the Y. Um, make sure the formation is correct here. It comes from the Shotgun Y Off Trio Week formation. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, uh, I make Madden videos, and uh, basically my videos are designed to help you get better in Madden, help you take your game to the next level with tips, strategies, and tactics that you can use that is really going to help you elevate your level of play. All right, so why have Trio Week? This formation's in the Run Heavy playbook. Run Heavy is actually a nice little unique playbook. There's a lot of cool um, concepts in there. The single back trio is amazing. Uh, probably one of the best under center uh, schemes in Madden right now. But I want to want to I want to focus in on why off Trio Week, and primarily uh, I want to talk about this specific play slot option. This plays in multiple playbooks as well, but I want to talk specifically about this route to the running back and how it kind of plays with the meta that you're seeing in a lot of um, online play. So we're gonna come out and cover two man and we're gonna show you this slot option route. Now, first things first, we're not gonna make any adjustments to the play. You actually really don't need to. There's maybe one or two adjustments that I would make to this. Um, one would be if you, if you take your tight end, you motion him out, you can put him on a zig and then you can motion him back to the left and he'll stay on a zig. That's, one, that's the one adjustment I would make. Um, to this play, but what you'll see here is this running back is going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage every single time. Now, um, there's a that's a linebacker. Let me sub in a safety. I thought I had subbed in a safety. Let me sub in a safety real quick just to just to show that it does beat that that meta because people are putting safeties in here. So let me sub in Darnell Savage for some reason. There he is. Okay, he's in. Um, and we'll go over this play real quick here. Let's see if we can get to it. Gun Y off Trio Week. Guys, if you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, this would be a great time to do that. There's a link in the description for that. Discord is a great place to be able to just talk Madden 24-7 whenever I'm not streaming or doing videos. You can talk with me there as well. But anyway, this little route to the running back I think is just really, really effective. You see here it absolutely torches the defender. There's nothing that they can do. Now, this really works well against the bench press meta because if people are running bench press, um, they're not going to be able to... Um, they're not going to be able to take their safeties over the safeties away from over top. And if they do take their safeties away from over top, what a lot of people are doing is they're running their safeties at like 20 to 30 yards. And you'll see that this route is not going to be in the vicinity of that. You're going to see here very easily, um, as long as I don't get super shedded in practice mode, we're going to be able to get this ball um, off pretty easily just like this right here. So this is against something like the bench press where they drop the, drop the purples and the yellow or whatever. And you see, it's still able to beat it. They're going to have to drop their curl flat or their hook or their underneath zones down to about, you know, 10 yards, maybe 15 yards to be able to defend this route. And you can actually pass lead it open against any zone, which is really, really nice. This route is one of the best routes in Madden right now. So then you have that route. Um, and then what you're going to have is what they're going to start doing is they're going to start doing this right here. They're going to shade over top just like this right here. You're going to see something like this. Now at the snap of the ball, watch this route to the running back. Still able to beat the man-to-man, -man, but not as effective. You see the purple zone does come down. Now, the, the purple zone comes down, but what it allows over the top, especially if you have a good route running receiver, this double move to Amari Cooper, if he has over 90 route running, you're going to find um, that this route right here will work really, really well against a lot of a lot of defenses. So snap of the ball, it's literally just a double move, and you're just going to pass lead it outside, over the top, click on, and you're going to use or catch that. Um, you're going to use or catch that. Now, if they're shading coverage over top, like they probably will, you're going to see that notice in the slot, this this wide receiver in the left slot here is on an option route. But against man-to-man -man coverage, he's always going to run, um, pretty much always going to run a post route depending on the, um, the leverage that he's going to get. So if they shade coverage outside and over top, that's going to give him the outside positioning that he wants. And so you're going to see a lot of times he is going to run a either a hitch or a post. So you can, if you, if they're not pressing coverage, 
So like they're off coverage and they're dropping zones with their safeties, he's going to run a little hitch. However, if they're in cover two man, watch, he runs this nice little deep post that you're able to typically will be able to get over, especially if you have a good route running receiver there, you're going to be able to get over the man-to-man -man coverage. So as long as they're keeping the two safeties back off, watch here. So two safeties are backed off. He's running a post route. And we know that post routes are really, really good against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other thing that you get with this play is this route to Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup's stock is unbumpable. So when he cuts to the backside, he's going to have a pretty good opportunity to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage, especially if they're running bench press, especially if they're press coveraging. You're going to see that Michael Gallup is going to be a very consistent read for you as well because again he's not going to get pressed so you get that ball outside and you're going to get that nice rocket catching um, animation as well so you have a stock unbumpable route um, on the right side because it's a stock um, it's a stock comeback you have this little zig to the tight end so if you motion him back in you put him on that zig watch his watch this zig do work against man to man because he doesn't get pressed he's going to be able to get open against man to man that's why tight end zig routes are so so critical so really what you're forcing your defense to do is your defense is going to have to start dropping people into purple zones so they're dropping people into purple zones and what you'll see here is this double move to amari cooper nine times out of ten is going to toast man to man coverage Nine times out of ten, this route will absolutely burn man-to-man -man coverage over the top if they take their safeties away. That's why it's so important to have a good route running receiver in that position as well. But this little quick out, um, little quick route to the tight end is going to set everything up. And if you don't get it over the top, you can always um, you can always user catch him. The other thing is if they're sh if they start to shade. If they start to shade their coverage over top like you're seeing right now, what you're going to see uh, defensively is you're still going to be able to hit this route right on the inside break. On the inside break, you're able to hit the running back. So that's a check down read as well if they do do the shading. Um, the other thing that you'll see here is if they continue to shade, watch Amari Cooper's route right there you see how you can you see how you can fit that in that window if they're doing shading coverage so if amari cooper doesn't get pressed that's how you know they're shading their coverage over top so if they're shading coverage over top you can actually throw this on the initial cut right in here and be able to easily um, manipulate that man-to-man -man coverage that way as well now that's with um and that's with um hard flats you know so so fairly fairly aggressive coverage if he gets pressed you know that's really what you want but you see you're going to be able to hit that little slant almost like a post route because it's going to break inside against the zone now if they're if they're going to press which they which this is going to force them to press so now oh they press and now you've really going to burn them because if they if he gets pressed that's what you want you want the press animation this play kills bench press because this play kills press coverage if they press coverage on you on this play the only player they're going to take out of the play is going to be cd lamb and a lot of times you'll see he's actually going to get a stock um a little stock automatic win animation because he's on this option route he's going to be able to kind of manipulate you'll see here he's going to get that inside position and he's going to run that post route especially against the two two safeties um, when they drop the two safeties high the reason that's significant is because it's going to force them they have to keep the two safeties high because if they don't keep the two safeties high then amari cooper is going to get open but if they keep the two safeties high then everything else is open this running back route is going to consistently just torch them this is really the primary route on your play but this play overall is really really good this whole playbook's got some really unique stuff so i'd encourage you to check it out one of the plays that most people haven't really talked about this year that's one of the better man beaters is this PA um, PA wide receiver in because the dig route on the left side um, does a really, really good job against man-to-man. -man. You see he's going to get an instant win, and then he's going to cut right inside, and that quarterback spy just picked it off, which is crazy. Um, so let him get past the quarterback spy, but this will be a really, really good play for you as well to mix in with this. This wide off trio is pretty solid of a play. But you see there, there you can hit that route. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to share that with you. That's a really decent man beater out of the run balance or run heavy playbook uh, in Madden 21. If you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, be sure to do that. Also, if you're really looking to go a little bit deeper in Madden and take your game to the next level, I have now began offering 
one-on-one -on -one personal coaching sessions where I customize everything directly to your needs and how I can help you improve. And so, um, and we just have it's you know 30-minute and 60-minute sessions that you can get. So those are in the description as well. You can sign up. Um, so far, those have been going great. It's been awesome conversation. I feel like it's been really helpful to the people um, that have partaken in it. So I think it can be really helpful to you as well. So uh, be sure to sign up for that. Some really, really good opportunities um, to continue to get better at Madden. But if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. And we will see you uh, in our next video. We've got a couple of videos I want you to check out that are going to come up on the screen here. And we'll see you tonight's, in tonight's live stream.